All right, what's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Um, hopefully we have a banger today. I picked up those uh, three card packs from Dollar General. I could not believe I found those. I've been getting some really great luck with finding um, five plus year old packs um, pretty much everywhere I go. I keep trying to tell myself to not look because I am trying to slow down on some of the Pokemon stuff and come out with some new content. Um, maybe like basketball cards or fishing or woodworking or something else. I'm super excited. There's a variety of the Sun and Moon era um, packs that I'm going to be opening up today. Uh, like I'm not really sure what the pull rates are. Hopefully it's good, um, but this might be the last time I purchase um, anything from Dollar General. So enough of me mumbling. Um, let's get into today's video. Stuff guys, I uh, definitely want to show you all of the uh, promo cards um, that it came with. So these Dragonite cards are crazy. Um, it came with five Dragonite promos. I cannot believe I found these. Um, this is the main reason why I grabbed them is because they came with these promo cards. So I think what I'm gonna do, um, I really like these Dragonite cards, but. Uh, I don't know if they're worth a whole lot. I'm not even sure um, what date this is. It says it's 2017 down there at the bottom. So I think what I want to do is on my eBay sales, when I sell something, I think I'm just going to throw them in there as a bonus um, to just add to the uh, eBay sale for when people buy Pokemon cards from me online. But that's what I'm probably going to do with these. And here we go. So we got 10. Packs. I'm not gonna show you guys what they are. We'll just see as we go. So first off, I think we have maybe like two or three team up packs from Sun and Moon era. These are three cards each, so nothing crazy. Um, these were the Dollar General, um, you know, uh, three card pack. Three card packs. I'm not 100% sure what's in these, um, and I have no idea what you can pull from here. So here we go. Blitzel. Paris and metal goggles and then there's the code card so no code on there um, awesome code cards though so here we go let's get into these next ones and we're just gonna keep going through them um, this is another team up pack so you can get the um, and originally why I wanted these is because you can get like the Mewtwo and Mew team up card um, which Mewtwo is my um, and there's a reverse um, Omni and a really cool looking Kangaskhan. Uh, don't think that's a rare though, so that's just a common. But yeah, you can get that Team Up Mewtwo card, which I am going to um, start to look for the Mewtwo after we get our Rayquaza um, alt art from uh, Evolving Sky. So here we go, Larvitar, Psyduck, and Nita. So that was another Team Up pack. Um, again, no code cards. And um, here's the, should be the last um, team up pack from what I can see on the next um, next pack over there. Uh, oh, and we're opening up things. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's get that off. There we go. There is a Meowth. Uh, really nice Lapras, and that is a rare. And a Fairy Energy, rest in peace. There is another really cool code card. Um, so there we go. So we're gonna get into the next series of packs, which you can maybe see, and that is Unbroken Bonds. There we go. So this is another three card pack, so let's get into this. Um, these packs are opening up very easily because they're older. Um, so here we go, Meltan, Spiro, and Koga's Trap, and no code card in that one. That's interesting. So here we go, another uh, Unbroken Bonds, Sun and Moon, three pack. Get into these. I guess these don't have code cards in them. So here we go, Do Duo. That would focus. Rhyhorn and Metapod. That's really cool artwork, actually. So we're jumping into the next set, and here we go, Sun and Moon base set, three cards. Um, this pack artwork's a lot nicer than the other ones. And it feels a little thicker, so there could be a code card in this one. Um, so here we go. We got Chinchou, uh, Makuhita, and a Dark Energy. Yeah, so these have code cards in them. There's another code card, super cool looking. Um, here we go into the next one, Sun and Moon base set again. 
Um, again, three cards, and we are down to the final three. So I was super happy to find these. I'm really not looking um, for uh, old packs in Dollar General. I'm really just trying to find anything that has or contains Evolving Skies. But every time I find these packs, I have to grab them. They're old school. This is from 2017, so you kind of have to at this point. Really cool Psyduck artwork. Here we go. There's the first rare, uh, and it's a fairy, so rest in peace, fairy energy, and Dartrix. And then another really cool code card. Here is one of the last ones, and this is really cool, Guardians Rising. Um, with that really crazy artwork. Um, I really like this artwork better than the um, first couple packs. It seems like this has like a hollow pattern on the front, or it's a little shinier. Um, so here we go. Three cards in these again. Here is Machop, a Reverse or Choreo, and a Fletchender. And that was a Rare or Choreo. And here is the code card. Really cool looking code cards. And then the last pack is Lost Thunder. There we go, from the Sun and Moon era. Um, not even sure what Pokemon that is on the front. Here we go, last pack. Can we get anything? Um, these were really just fun to open. Oh, wow, that's a crazy looking Onyx. Um, goodness, uh, that's really cool with all the little diglets in the background. Alrighty, Onyx, Dawn Fam. Uh, is actually a rare and a carving and last code card. We didn't get anything in those. We didn't get anything in the Sun and Moon era. So I think that'll probably be it for those three card pack pickups. Um, people do get lucky, but um, you can't get lucky every time um, you buy, you know, five or more. So uh, I don't even know what the pull rates are on those things, but those were a lot of fun. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. So uh, hopefully, um, I'll come out with another video pretty soon. Um, I think sometime next week. Um, I know I keep saying that and then I come out with a video in the next couple days or even sometimes the next day. It really just depends on the content um, and what I find really to film for you guys. I kind of want to film everything um, that I look for and find really um, and everything I purchase to put on this YouTube channel. Since I'm just starting, you know, I want to really create a lot of videos um, to get my channel started and get going. Um, you know, eventually a uh, long-term goal right now is to grow my channel to a thousand subscribers to maybe one day get monetized um, so we can actually make some kind of an income from doing all of this work um, and buying all of the stuff. So, oh, and before I forget, um, like I said, I'm going to try to come up with different content for you guys. So if this isn't um, COVID, I'm definitely going to try to go fishing again before um, it gets cold again um, sometime next week. So hopefully I get another fishing video um, to try to find those winter bass in this crazy weather. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.